Welcome to Huff Goes to the Movies. My name is Eric Huff II. Most people call me Huff and some people know that I love going to the movies. Malum is a reimagining of the film Last Shift. It is written and directed by Anthony de Blasi, who wrote and directed Last Shift. Uh, and the film stars Jessica Sula as a rookie police officer who is uh, taking a shift at a mostly abandoned police station uh, on the night in which a bunch of cult members are causing havoc and chaos in the city. Her reasoning for taking this shift is because this is the police station where her father worked, uh, a police officer who sort of had a breakdown and did a murder-suicide. It's a whole thing. And Malum is really an interesting take because as a reimagining of another film, a film that is a little too recent, I think, at this point, to be getting a reboot. Um, it is a film that I think largely already has a structure in place to follow, and I think for people who have not seen The Last Shift, like myself, uh, this is probably most reminiscent with something like Assault on Precinct 13, but with much more horror vibes infused into it. And Jessica Sula as a lead here, I think, works pretty well. I think that the film itself, though, struggles with finding interesting things to do with her, as well as finding interesting things to do with this premise. Overall, Malum is quite the disappointment for me. Um, it looks incredible, and police stations, places that are mostly abandoned in general, those serve as wonderful settings for the horror genre. Those are places that are sort of naturally leaning into human suffering, um, the fact that places are mostly abandoned, that leaves an air of mystery and intrigue into it, and this is taking place at night. So it has all the makings to be a really solid time. Maybe not a classic, but just something that horror fans can have fun with. But where I think Malum really is undermined is in the fact that it's a film that feels like it wants to be doing a few too many things. Over the course of the film, we see Jessica Sula's character sort of digging up the mystery around her father's death. We see her digging into his research on this cult that he was investigating. And as we learn more about it, honestly, I just found where this was going to be a little too predictable. But also, I think that the film makes a pretty big mistake in not really adhering to any singular logic. What I mean when I say this is that there are things that happen in this film that appear to be mysterious or supernatural and unexplained, but the film, I think, doesn't do a great job of establishing that line and just writing it enough to keep it uh, engaging. Because at one moment, you might think that something is happening on screen, and then the next second, uh, oh, maybe it's not really happening. But okay, if it was happening, how exactly does this work? This does not exactly make a lot of sense, which is frustrating since everything else here seems to work just fine. Uh, Jessica Sula is an engaging presence as the lead. I think that the supporting cast here is pretty strong for the most part. A fun little bit for people who sort of follow YouTube film fan communities, Clark Wolf, uh, formerly from Collider, she is in the film. Uh, in fact, she actually has quite a substantial amount of screen time in this film and I thought that was wonderful because I love Clark Wolf. I think she's great. I think she does a good job of representing for horror fans out there and so it's frustrating to see some things that work, to see a film that looks so good, to see a film that has such a solid premise that just can't quite find the momentum to stay engaging or interesting and by the time this film goes into its third act, it just seems like a bunch of visual nonsense. And without saying too much about sort of where this film goes, I think that hardcore horror fans may dig the aesthetics of this, but I think they'll find themselves frustrated by the story because it's going to feel all too familiar. And I say that as someone who has not seen the film that this is a reimagining of. Uh, so overall, while I was happy to support Malum, and while I was so thrilled to see Clark Wolf on screen, and while I really enjoy Jessica Sula, I think that Malum is one that you're probably better off waiting until it hits streaming, um, but 
that is just me. If I had to give this a rating, I would probably say that this is a two and a half out of five stars. Looks cool, looks good, eerie vibes, but a nonsensical story that makes all of those things not really worth the time or money. But that is just me. Guys, have you seen Malum? Hell, have you seen The Last Shift? If so, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That always helps. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. That way you can stay up to date on everything that I've got going on here. Once again, my name is Eric Huff from the second, and most people call me Huff. Stay sweaty, my friends. I will see you at the movies. Peace.